Hello, hello. How's everybody? Hey, how are you? Keenan, good to see you. I'll throw that up on screen. How are you? Hey, I wanted to show you a real quick thing I wanted to do was uh, OBS, Voice Meter, and StreamYard. Hey, Dan. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Um, this past Friday when I did the game show, I learned a little bit about the sound and some of the issues that I had and stuff. So I wanted to, and I use voice meter for my kind of uh, software mixer. So I kind of wanted to show everybody that. Hey, Mark, how are you, sir? Um, oh, thank you, Dan. Love the background. It's, it's kind of my trademark now that I've uh, had it there for a while. Um, one thing that uh, I wanted to share with everyone because there's a lot of... Uh, <clears throat> Hello there, Mike, if I remember correctly. I, could, I, I always mess them up, but I think I got that one right. Never let the machines win. There you go. Okay. Um, I wanted to kind of share with you guys my little process here. I have OBS, I have StreamYard, and also have Voice Meter doing all these uh, live at one time. So hopefully I can share inside here and let you get an idea of what my issue was with the sound on Friday and what I had to figure out. I mean, it's a brain thing. You just have to think it through. Just make sure. And that's what I'm going to kind of show everybody tonight so let me get started here i'm going to screen share so you will see there you go so here you can you can kind of see the areas right here this right here is you can see i'm showing my obs this is obs right here and then this right here is StreamYard. And then over here is my video that I have, okay? And this is just being able to show you so you can see what I got and what, what we're doing. Um, the thing that was happening, I was seeing my meter over here. I could see my meter going, so I figured I had sound. But the thing was, <clears throat> um, hold on real quick. I just want to get a comment here. Let's see. Uh, let me go here. Mark says, great, how you can bring the comments in again. Yes, I agree wholeheartedly. I think that's really a big deal. Uh, I love that. That's one thing I love about StreamYard. And that's what the, uh, that's what the to me, the push was to get the game on that that night. Like I said, you can see the meter going over there. But what, what I was having issues with, we're going to go to, I'm going to show you right down here. Um, if you look down here, the gear wheel in StreamYard is, is the settings tab. I'm going to go to that right now, um, click on it, and you can see I use my OBS camera. This is how I'm bringing in. So if I, and I can't move this out of the way so you can't really see, but if you notice um, over here when I show, this is, this I'm doing this using my OBS camera. This video right here is coming in from right here. It's, it's exactly the same thing. So you can kind of see that I have both of them coming in and I'll show you that in just a second too. But the key thing here is though, is I had my mic set for my microphone versus using voice meter. Anybody that's never seen voice meter before, I'm going to bring that in so you can kind of see it. Um, there's voice meter. This is what voice meter looks like. Um, you can kind of see my microphone right here is, I, is the input, and you can see it bouncing whenever I talk. Then I had, uh, if, you, if you look here, I have it separated with Zoom and then Windows. So if I want to bring in Windows sound, if something from my Windows or my anything from my computer uh, is there, but I separated Zoom, so it had its own thing coming in. So I could bring the sounds in separately, and that's kind of... I had all this going and the meters were going, but the problem was it wasn't bouncing on my, uh, oops, sorry about that. Um, it wasn't bouncing on my um, stream yard because it wasn't, didn't have the right mic set up or the right speakers. And you can see right now it's bouncing. If you look uh, right here, you can kind of see that it's bouncing right there, but also on <coughs> OBS, <coughs> you can see it bouncing. And if I were to bring in a voice meter as well, you would see it bouncing there as well. So you can see it bouncing on all three things and I'm getting the sound in. And that's where 
<clears throat> the key to everything was happening to <laughs> help me get it right. And I finally got it right after about 10 minutes in. So it was kind of nice <clears throat> to get that and, and learn uh, the process of that. But I'm telling you, StreamYard has a very, very, it does a very good job with um, basic. I mean, it's just really easy and basic stuff that you can do. There you go. I love it. Dan says to infinity and beyond. <laughs> That's right. <clears throat> um, I love the, the, the setup, the basic setup and how, how it's all put together and, and ease of use because I was able to find it and I just had to put my brain together and put the process through. So that was the key thing. Um, it's nice having uh, OBS because I can switch scenes. Let's just say I had two folks, but if I went to two folks, you can see immediately whatever's going on over here on OBS. You know what I'm saying? This, this is what's nice where I can keep my transitions and I can keep the rolling. Uh, you can see it right now, the rolling uh, uh, scrolling information down below, that kind of thing for my channel. And it broadcasts right out. It broadcasts right here. And so you can see those things and keep that. It, it brings the best of both worlds with OBS and StreamYard. So <clears throat> I love having a virtual camera. I do that with an OBS virtual camera. I have a video on that. Go back and watch the video. It's very helpful. So you can learn some of that as far as uh, um, learning uh, how to um let me go back to the other scene. All right, there we go. Back to me. Uh, you can and you can learn about the virtual camera. One thing that I will show you. Let me go back to the OBS screen real quick with that screen share, so you can kind of see. If you look at OBS, and I will go to, I believe it's under Tools, is it? Yeah, Tools, and then Virtual Camera. You can see it's a download and it's an add-on for that. And there's a whole process there. And like I said, watch that video. You'll pick up on that. So <clears throat> as you saw up here on tools in OBS, and then I selected, oops, and then I selected virtual camera, which is like the second from the bottom or something like that. So <clears throat> very useful tool. I, I really enjoy uh using OBS, anybody knows. Well, and the only reason I haven't made the move over to, what do they call it? OB, slobs, they call it. It's uh, Streamlabs OBS. That's the only reason I haven't moved over there because the, they don't have the virtual camera. And with all the different things that I do, I like being able to have that ability to have a virtual camera. And OBS has that, or they have an add-on for it. So that's one reason why I really like that. <clears throat> Um, Mark says, I love seeing your desktop and how you bring all the pieces together. Thanks. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 why not share it? Right. You might not understand it. You might not know it, but eventually if I show it enough times, everyone can pick up on it and learn a little bit about it. And that's all I want to do is, is to get where people can learn the different parts of it. Probably going to do another video very soon. Depends. Uh, baseball's been very heavy, so it's tough for me to get out here. But uh, I wanted to just show that because it, it was an issue this Friday. So during the game show, and I wanted to show how and why, how I fixed it and why it was an issue because I wasn't pulling in the correct sound and everything. So there's a lot to it. I know voice meter can be very confusing for people. Um, I think... I understand it now, um, but it's definitely something that is uh, a learned thing for sure. Um, <clears throat> I want to, uh, if you guys have any other questions or you want to see something, I'll be glad to show you while I'm in here. Um, but right now, uh, I think that's all that I have on OBS, StreamYard, and VoiceMeter and how to bring all them together. <clears throat> Anybody that watches this, feel free to uh, feel free to uh, you know sign. We have a paid for community. You could come in. I, I try and help people that are in there. I give them one on one stuff, workshops, and we do a daily tip that I do and that kind of stuff. Let me see what you got here. Your game show. Your game show relies on the OBS virtual camera, right? 
Yes, it does. Not normally because I used to broad. Okay, let me just explain. OBS can stream to YouTube. And I, in the past, I used OBS <clears throat> and started the stream from there. So I didn't need the virtual camera. Right now, I'm using StreamYard. So StreamYard uses uh, <clears throat> to bring that OBS as if I was streaming it. To bring that in, I use an OBS virtual camera to bring that in. I hope that makes sense. It might not make sense, but hopefully that does. Um, <clears throat> oh, Dan says hit the like button as well. Yeah, absolutely. Hit the like button. Thumbs up, whatever. Yeah, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, the, the the key is anything that, like I think Skype uses a virtual, that allows a virtual camera. Uh, Zoom allows a virtual camera. So a lot of times in Zoom. So for example, when I have the contestants in here doing the game show and I have all those people in the Zoom meeting, which is how I bring everybody in, I have a... Uh, <clears throat> I use the virtual camera to let them see what I'm showing you folks out there because they have no way of seeing what's going uh, out to the public. So if I have them on screen, they don't really know it unless I put the OBS virtual. I use that as my camera in Zoom. I know all this sounds really technical and stuff like that, but this is the kind of stuff that we can help with and, and do inside that community that we have. And also, you know, me doing videos like this so I can show you folks around. So that's what I like to do. I like to help people when I can. Um, I'm going to wrap it up. It's already at 12 minutes, but I want to go ahead and wrap it up unless you guys have any other questions. Glad to uh, answer anything. <clears throat> and let's see. He says, I thought that you were using virtual cam to bring in the Zoom contestants. No, the virtual camera is is a choice. What Instead of choosing my C920 or my C922, I can choose the OBS camera. So whatever I broadcast to OBS is used as a camera. So I use... OBS camera in Zoom so the contestants can see what's going on. To bring in Zoom, I just have it on uh, the whole Zoom meeting in one of my monitors. I have four monitors. So what I do there is uh, I bring people into their own individual square and I move them around and put in and, and, and crop it to just the individual people. There's a lot of work to it that goes into it. Uh, and Mike says, your ability to do that stuff is impressive. Well, I do, certainly do appreciate it. Thank you very much. It, it, it didn't happen overnight, that's for sure. But there's definitely uh, a learning curve that I went through. And it's, it, does, it, it ends up beautifully. I mean, it's really, it, it, it's a great final product. I mean, and I'm not boasting or bragging on myself. I'm just saying it does turn out really well, but there's a lot going on in the background and what I had to do through time to get all that to, uh, to come through also was, uh, like I said, a learning curve, you know, to get, to get that. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I'll probably do another video soon. So be on the lookout for that. If baseball gets rained out, then I'll definitely do a video. So we'll see what happens there. Um, if you guys don't have any other questions, I'm going to, like I, as I said, wrap this up. Let me go to here one last time. Let me go here. And this might bring some, or, you know, to get, yeah, to get might, that. Yeah, it might. Okay. <clears throat> Mark says, very professional. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate it. Certainly have uh, fun doing that for sure. Happy week. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate that. That's very nice of you. We do. I do appreciate you guys. Um, anybody that rewatches this, if you have a question or you want to have, if you have some input toward it, please let me know and I will respond back. I'm going to end the broadcast. Thank you. And we will talk with you soon. Thank you, folks. Good night.